After a pretty strong year of Jordan 4s in 2022, Jordan Brand's looking to mix things up a little bit with a special edition straight out the gate here in 2023. This sneaker has been highly anticipated by a lot of people, so let's figure out whether they're worth the wait. Here we have the box, another one of these, I guess you could say, special packaging Jordan 4 boxes that we saw quite a lot last year. We've got it once again on this pair. You can see all of these speckling all around the pair of sneakers, and then of course that flight text with the jump man right in the center. I've got to say, just the color of the box looks really, really good, but let me show you guys what is inside. It is the Jordan 4 Craft SE. And here we have them guys. These are uh, these are pretty different. This is actually the first time that Jordan Brand has done this craft version on a pair of fours. However, I'm sure you guys have seen the plethora of other craft version sneakers that Nike and Jordan Brand have done. Like they've done a lot. I'm talking ones, twos, fives, and a bunch more that are upcoming. And usually Jordan Brand and Nike are pretty good at their storytelling. However, I will say that this craft lineup or version or whatever you want to call it, their craft sneakers are pretty confusing. They all kind of seem to have different inspirations and different ideas behind them. What I can say is that the main changes from a craft sneaker to a regular model is just the different use of materials. And these definitely have that. But before we get too deep into all of that, let me give you guys the release details. So if you're after these, they drop on February the 11th. And I assume because this is an SE, meaning special edition, they're probably going to end up being a little bit more limited than other Jordans we've seen. Now they retail for $210 or 200 pounds if you're here in the UK, which is more expensive than a standard pair of Jordan 4s, but why? Okay, so I want to start off by saying that the fact that this is something a little bit different than a standard pair of Jordan 4s, I actually like. Like, I think we've had our fair share of regular or standard Jordan 4s recently. I mean, Military Blacks, Midnight Navies, the list goes on. I think these separate themselves from the rest in a pretty subtle and tasteful way. The materials on these, for the most part, are pretty different. And you can definitely tell that these have some kind of premium DNA in them. There's suede which you find around the mudguard, the tongue, and this random square by the ankle. And most interestingly, in replacement of of the rubber mesh cage that you find on standard Jordan 4s. And I think this is one of my favorite parts about this sneaker. I actually debossed this grid pattern into the suede of this pair of shoes to make it appear like a regular Jordan 4. And I feel like if these parts had just regular plain suede, it might look a little bit off. And this is where you really notice the subtle nature of how they changed up this pair of Jordan. I didn't want to completely revamp this sneaker, but still keep the iconic details of the Jordan 4. Now, I will say in general, this suede feels really nice to touch. So I am a big fan of that. It feels a especially soft up around this tongue area. I really don't have too much to say about this random square piece of suede that they added to, uh, I guess, the ankle area. It just looks a little bit random. Love it or hate it, but cracked leather is back, making yet another appearance on a pair of Jordan. I feel like this cracked leather material is something that Jordan brand has absolutely loved throwing on every single model, whether it's Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, Jordan 3s. Now, I will say that the use of this cracked leather is pretty minimal. It's not very noticeable when you just immediately look at the sneaker. The only parts that have this cracked leather is around the eye stays and then in replacement for what normally would be a plastic strap. Now one of the most random parts where they added cracked leather is on the medial side around the ankle area. And this is weird because they don't add it on both sides so it's not symmetrical. So all of this is cracked leather over here which feels really rough. It kind of feels like the lost and found Jordan 1 ankle area. However when you flip it to the lateral side as you can see this is all just regular kind of standard leather that you would find on any other Jordan 4. So if you're someone who likes your sneakers to be more symmetrical, well, not only do you have just cracked leather on one side, you also have the random square of suede, which is also only on the outside of the sneaker.
Now, speaking of the regular plain leather, it's not cracked, it's not suede, it's just standard Jordan 4 leather. I gotta say that it feels relatively good in hand. I don't think it's anything amazing. It really does just feel like standard Jordan 4 leather, which for the most part is relatively good. Find that leather around the toe box and then just kind of wrapping around the sneaker, which uh, is pretty much standard for a pair of Jordan 4s. And I think what this sneaker really has going for it is the fact that they use so many different types of material. You've got the suede, you've got the regular leather, you've got the deboss suede, you've got the aged and cracked leather, and you've also got the random stitching that's all around the pair of sneakers. And I think what that does is really give a lot of texture to this pair of shoes and really makes all of the panels look pretty different without actually being too crazy different. And I think it really works well with the color palette of this sneaker. It's a super nice combination of lighter and darker grays and also a really nice light bluish hue to it. You couple that with the sail accents on this pair of shoes, which you find on the plastic eye stays, the jump man on the tongue and the jump man on the reverse. I think the sail color goes together pretty perfectly on this pair of shoes and I think kind of lends a hand to the, I guess you could say almost aged aspect of this sneaker. I mean, there's not really that much that make this sneaker fall in the same category as some of the other aged sneakers or reimagined sneakers that we've seen from Jordan brand. But certainly when you do look at elements of this pair of shoes, like these plastic eye stays, it definitely does have a vintage or aged effect to it. Reverse of the tongue also comes in a very nice sail color. And the midsole is also slightly, I would say more off-white than sail. I could also imagine these things looking really good with a sail lace swap. At the moment, you just have a pretty much monochromatic, light bluish gray pair of laces. So I definitely might try chucking some sail laces on here and see how that goes. That could be pretty interesting. Overall, I think that this is a solid change up from a standard pair of Jordan 4s. We saw last year that Jordan brand switched things up with their canvas versions. We had both the black and blank canvas sneakers. And you could make the argument that those were more inferior materials in terms of canvas versus different types of leather. However, I would definitely say that these have that premium edge to them. They feel nice in hand. All of the materials feel pretty premium. It also helps that this is a really nice colorway of a lot of really cohesive colors that are involved in this sneaker. Personally, I think they look great on foot. Speaking of, I will briefly touch on sizing. Uh, personally, I always go true to size when it comes to Jordan 4s and they fit me just fine. So that's what I'm gonna recommend to you. Now, if these aren't really your thing, we've got the Seafoam Jordan 4s, the Red Cements, the Thunder 4s upcoming. We've got a lot to look forward to. But if you wanted something a little bit different, I think this is a really solid pair of 4s. Let me know what you think of these down in the comment section. And if you want to run down on all of the latest sneakers that are upcoming in the near future, definitely check out this video.